Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hello, Adela. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Welcome, Adela. Hi, Wendy. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Awesome. Are you ready for your English class? Yes. All right. Today, we are going to get started. In yesterday's class, we were looking at time zones. Do you remember? ¿Se acuerda que ayer estábamos viendo time zones? Do you remember? International time zones. All right, so esto fue lo que vimos ayer. International time zones. Between two people in different time zones. Vamos a ver Let's get started two by people in two different time program. zones. To practice different cities around Listen the world. and repeat. Let's listen and repeat. Listen. Vancouver. Vancouver. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Mexico City. Mexico City. Lima. Lima. Montreal. Montreal. New York City. New York City. San Juan. San Juan. Brasilia. Brasilia. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. London. London. Casablanca. Casablanca. Cape Town. Cape Town. Warsaw. Warsaw. Moscow. Moscow. Riyadh. Riyadh. Seoul. Seoul. Bangkok. Bangkok. Tokyo. Tokyo. Sydney. Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Okay. El día de hoy vamos a practicar esta conversación. Everybody listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? Australia? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock. There in Los Angeles in the morning. Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh. I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Any questions related to the conversation? Questions related to the conversation? Preguntas relacionadas con la conversación. Okay, we are going to practice the conversation in pairs. Vamos a practicar la conversación en parejas. Ready? Let's go.
Ah, ya, la, ya la tengo, creo yo. Ya, ya la tengo. Igual. Ya la puse. No. Sí, pero. Uh -huh. Aquí las tengo. Ahí está. Va, aquí está. Ahorita. Tal vez la puede compartir. Uh -huh. Ahorita. Ahorita Ahí está. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahí está. Ok. Vale. Empieza usted. Hi. Ok. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I am a conference in Sydney. Remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks. Okay, I am a what? No. Okay. Voy al revés. Quiero. Okay. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am called from Australia. Australia? I am at conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm, re I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am awake. I am awake now. Okay. De nuevo. ¿Cómo? De nuevo. De nuevo, al revés. Hello. Okay. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I am at, I am at conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock. There is, there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. All right, all right. Is everybody finished? I said, I said, is everybody finished? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Okay. Vamos a cambiar parejas. Vamos a cambiar parejas. We are going to change partners. Vamos a cambiar grupos. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Let's go.
Eh, hello, Morena. Eh, aquí tiene que estar, quiero ver Violeta y Paola. La vamos a poner con Hilda. Somos, somos tres. Si quiere, practiquemos primero dos, después las otras dos. De acuerdo. Entonces, vale. si quiere, empieza usted, empiezo yo. Este, como usted guste. Bye. Si quiere, yo soy Debbie. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and, and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. Hola, Morena. Me Quizás escucha. le pasa lo mío, ves que no puedo activar el audio. Tal vez, pero parece como que sí. Vale, si quieren, entonces hagámoslo al revés. De acuerdo. Ahora a usted, Debbie, yo soy John. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. Okay, ya, la, ya no está morena. Mm, yo creo que tiene problemas tal vez con el internet. Ah, sí, verdad, también. A ver, volvámosla entonces. O empiezo. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Ha de ser feo que lo levanten tan temprano. Al revés, hoy empieza usted. Bye. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I am I'm a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. Okay. Ya nos lo aprendimos. Mire, practiqué esta parte. Mire, donde está. Donde dice, oh, right. What time is it? What time is it there? Oh, right. What time is it there? Sí, ahí. It's 10 p.m. Yo me quedo en la última, siento yo. I'm awake. Porque yo no, hago, no digo la contracción a la hora de leerlo, sino que I am. Y no es I'm awake. I'm awake now. Lo volvemos a practicar para que nos para que nos llame. Hello. Que no pues sí, todavía Hi. falta. Cabal. Hi, David. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia. 
I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. I'm awake. Oye, al revés, empieza usted. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. I am at a conference in Sydney. Remember? No, usted me dice Australia. 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 Sí. I'm I'm a conference. No. I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. Okay. Ya, es, ya terminó usted de hacerla. ¿Por cuál, Maurita? Ya lo, el curso. Sí. Lo terminé el lunes en la tarde. ¿Ya lo terminó? Sí, ya lo terminé. ¿Todito? No sí, le faltó todo. ninguna. No, la que tenía falla ayer la dio el profesor en la de typing. Mm, ya. Ahí, pero ahorita no está sacando. Ok. Maya, hello. All right, all right. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finished. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. Excellent. Ok, now, ahora lo que vamos a hacer es escribir una conversación similar, eh, pero en la plataforma. Le puede cambiar, por ejemplo, eh, Azucena puede, Violeta puede parar de compartir su pantalla, por favor, porque no me deja. Ok, thank you. Vamos a escribir, por ejemplo, acá, donde dice John, puede poner Mario. Eh, donde dice Australia, puede poner Santa Ana o San Miguel. Donde dice Sydney, puede poner Honduras o Guatemala. La idea de personalizarlo, de un viaje entre, y una llamada entre dos personas. Y lo vamos a escribir acá en el Discussion Forum. For example, hello, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. This is Alfred. I'm calling from Italy, Italia. Italy. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. All right. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's do it. Let's go. José, no veo que se fue, José. Paola, no veo que se fue, Paola. Bueno, comiéndole buenas cosas. La Claudia. Ay, sirenita. <risa> Yo sí ya la había hecho. Igual. Buen efecto tiene. ¿Verdad? <risa> ¿Y usted ya la hizo, Miguel? Eh, sí, creo que la, ya la había hecho. Voy a revisar. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, ya la había hecho. 
Eh, yo le hice cuca de España, parece. Le hice uh -huh. Nueva York y El Salvador. Si quieres lo que podemos hacer es alguien que comparte y repetimos, repitamos una de esas para practicar el, la conversación. Ok. Que comparte el privilegiado. Hola. Yo creo que te perdió. <ríe> Ahorita. Ok. Esa es la que había hecho. Solo que hay una. A ver. Sí, sí. Porque le puso Luisa y dice mm. Juanita. Sí, es eh. que cuando estaba escribiéndolo, mm. creo que me equivoqué. <ríe> Hoy lo estoy viendo. Mm. Pues si quieren comparte otro, no hay problema. No, no está bien. <ríe> Vaya. Quiero ver. Está bien. Eh, no sé si quieren comenzar, bueno, si quieren digo hello okay. pues si quieren denle ustedes los primeros y después tú, y después voy yo con alguien de ustedes vale, está bien vale. eh, hello hi eh, <risa> sí, está raro, está raro yo sé, ahorita me acabo de dar cuenta <risa> no, ya. Hello, Mario. This is Adela. I am calling from Spain. Spain? I am a conference in Barcelona. Remember? All oh, right. What what time is is it there? It's 3 p.m. and it is one o'clock there in Madrid, right? Yes, one o'clock in the morning. One, I am, or, oh, oh, I am really sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I am great now. Okay. ¿Qué quiere decir uh, awake? Eh, como que se va... Volver a dormir. Ah, ah, ok. Vaya, okay. ¿y ustedes? Y como usted empezó, voy a empezar yo. Hello. Eh, hi, Juan, Juanita. This is Juan, dice. I am calling from Spain. Spain? Sí, I, I'm at conference in Barcelona, remember. Right, what time is this there? It's 3 uh, p.m. and it's 1 o'clock there in Madrid, right? 1 o'clock in the morning. Yes, 1 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, sería 1 a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I am a walk new. No. Sí, está raro. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Claudine. Comparte la tuya. Sí, que compartamos la de ella. <laughs> Estoy con el teléfono. Ay, qué trampa. Espérate, pues, tramposa. <laughs> Ah, 
está, está la mía. Yo, que la mía está de corrido. Sí. Lo siento, la mía está de corrido. Va, no importa. Va. Otra vez con Mario. Ok, dale, dale. Va, voy a hacer Alejandra. Alejandra. Ay, ahí el Jonathan. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mario. Miguel. Ay, perdón. Ah, chiste. Yo pensé que ustedes dos le iban a hacer. No sé dónde vi Mario. No, ya eh... es que por no te hace caso. Sí. sí Dale, no te... Vaya. Dale. Hello. Hi, Alejandra. This is Jonathan. I am calling from Nueva York. Nueva York. Sí. Uh, I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? All right. What time it is there? Uh, it's 5 a.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in El Salvador. Yes, 4 o'clock in, in, uh, in the morning. Uh, for I am oh I am really sorry that's okay I am a make now okay. Okay. Bye, okay. <laughs> hello Jonathan hi Alejandra this is Jonathan I am calling from New York New York Hey, I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's uh, 5 a.m. Am... All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Todos terminamos o necesitamos más tiempo. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. We are going to move forward and look at the next activity. For the next activity, we are going to be looking at section 5.2. By the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer questions using time expressions and practice giving the time. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formular y responder preguntas usando expresiones de tiempo y practicarán proporcionando la hora. Listen, please. Listen, please. And answer so those escuchan? using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Yes. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's 1.45. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we would change is the number of minutes. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, 
it's 240 or it's 20 to 3. Our last example, it's a quarter to 3 or it's 245. Okay, quiero que pongan ojo. Two, it's two o'clock. Two o five, it's two o five. Two fifteen, it's two fifteen. Two thirty, it's two thirty. It's half past two. So aquí quiero que vean que está expresando lo mismo de dos formas. It's two thirty, quiere decir son las dos y media. It's half past two. Es las dos y media. So, vamos viendo que puede ser decir la misma hora, pero de diferente forma. Eh, it's 2.40, son las 2.40. It's 20 to 3, es lo mismo. 2.45, it's a quarter to 3, or it's 2.45. So, ustedes van a hacer lo mismo. Van a escribir las horas, like pero de dos formas diferentes. I Todas estas horas. 3, 3.05, 3.15, 3.30, 3.40, 3.45. Las van a escribir de, la, de diferentes formas la you misma hora. The time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. in the evening p.m. at night p.m. midnight a.m. let's uh, practice this time expressions now let's listen and repeat it's seven o'clock in the morning it's seven a.m. it's twelve o'clock it's twelve p.m. it's noon it's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's ten o'clock at night. It's ten p.m. At night. It's twelve a.m. Okay. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express right. time in different ways. It's, it's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying, it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. All right. So, it's 4 p.m. Vamos a escribir estos horarios de dos formas diferentes. Vamos a dar ejemplos. Y los vamos a poner acá en la discussion form. Por ejemplo, it's 1:10, it's 1:13, it's 2 o'clock. It's 25 past two. Any questions? Yes, ejemplos. Any questions? No. no. Okay. Are you ready? Let's yes. go. Yes.
Hola. Hello. Hello. En el 5.3, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, los primeros dijo que teníamos que poner de diferentes formas las horas que nos había dado. Uh -huh. Que eran las tres. De las tres. El primer. Ajá, las tres. Uh -huh. Le podemos poner it's three o'clock. Uh -huh. Ah, el primero son las tres en punto. Uh -huh. El otro le podemos poner son las tres y cinco. Uh -huh. It... It's three pa past it's... five. Sería. Sí. El otro son las 3, 5, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 0, 5. It's. It's. 3. Uh -huh. is, no, is by, ¿cómo sería ese? Is, is three past five. Era de la te El otro es tres quince. Tres quince. Es cuadro pas tres. Son las tres y cuarto o las tres y quince. Es tres. Que no tenés clase. Ay, gracias a Dios. Y... Tres treinta es como él lo dijo, verdad? It's half past three. Uh -huh. It half. Sí, tienen que ser todos de cinco en cinco o se puede saltear, Vamos. saltar número. Y tres cuarenta. It's doing
it's twenty. It, it's three twenty five. Twenty two four. It's twenty. Yo le puse it's twenty two four. ¿Y ¿En las cuál? ¿Las tres? En las tres cuarenta. Tres cuarenta. It's twenty to four, porque aquí en el ejemplo que puso, it's twenty to three. All right, is everybody finished? Let me have one volunteer. Un voluntario que quiera compartir las oraciones. One volunteer. All right, Violeta. Hey. The first is X3 o'clock, X35, X345, X320, X a quarter to six, X20 to seven, X, X8 o'clock, X810, X1010. Excellent. Hilda Marcela. Let me have your examples. East Street, 10 o'clock. East Street, 13 o'clock. East 3 o'clock. East Street, 5 past 2. East Street, 45. It's half past 2. It's a quarter to 6. It's a 20 to 7. It's a 10 to 8. It's 8 o'clock. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to move forward and we're going to be looking at 5.4. Instructions, look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. Instrucciones, observe los relojes y seleccione las dos posibles respuestas correctas de las horas que se muestran en cada reloj. For example, number one, what time is it? It's 10 to seven. It's 6.50. You will complete the activity in pairs. Any questions? All right, let's do it. Yes, Paola. Paola. No, yo voy a hacer la voy. Entonces, este... ¿qué? Si gusta lo, lo, el primero, ¿no? el cuál, perdón. Primero que me sale como el teacher dijo que era solo de escoger. La dos es la, la, la primera es la, es la, digamos que la dije, la que dice dos punto A es la primera y la, la, la primera tercera. opción, la tercera. It's ten to seven, it's six fifty. No le sale ah. de, de dar clic, ¿cómo no? Sí, desde la segunda. Ajá, la primera es el ejemplo. Sí. La 3.A, ah, la 3. What time is it? It's... It's 
It's a quarter to ten. Esa eh, es la, no. la dos y la cuatro. Sería it's eight forty five. Las ocho y cuarenta y cinco. Y también sería it's a quarter to nine. Ah, sí, es tonight. Es sí. cierto. Sí. Tres. La cuatro. La cuatro, it's. La cuatro. What time is it? Eleven o five. Yes. Um, It's five past eleven. Correcto. En las cinco, what time is? It's three fifteen. Sí. It's a uh, quarter past three. Yes. En número seis, what time is it? It's For thirty, sí. Um, it's half past four. Yes. Sí, ese. Sí. Sí. Oh, my. Entonces, si quieren, practiquemos pronunciación. Okay. Digamos una, por ejemplo, la dos, una persona, la tres, con la, la pregunta y las dos respuestas. La tres igual, ¿verdad? Que me imagino que ha sido hacerla. Vamos, Hilda, estrene. What time is it? It's 10 to 7. It's 6.50. Six fifty. Esta. La tres. Usted, Paola. Hola. What time it is? What time it is? It's a forty-five. It's a quarter to nine. Nine. Sí. Sería la cuatro ahora. What time sí. is it? It's five past eleven. It's eleven o five. Me toca las cinco. Sí. What time is it? It's three fifteen. It's a quarter past three. What time is it? It's half past four. It's four thirty. Correcto. Le dio a enviar, le salieron todas en verde, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Sí? Ok. En lo que nos llaman, si quieren, volvamos a practicar pronunciación. Va. La boba. What time is it? It's 10 to 7. It, it's 6.50. La 3. What time is it? It's a 4.45. It's a quarter to nine. Yes. 
grab tiny seed. It's five. All right, let me have a volunteer for number three. Gabriela. Patricia. What time it is? It is 8.45. It is a quarter to nine. Excellent. Wendy. Number four. four. What time is it? It's five past 11. It's 11 or five. Excellent. Uh, Ilda, number five. What time is it? It's 3.15. It's a quarter past three. Excellent. <laughs> Adela, number six. What time is it? It's half past four. It's four thirty. Perfect. Excellent. Let us move forward. Here, by the end of this class, you will be able to understand rising and falling intonation in yes, no questions and WH questions. Rising and falling intonation. Listen and repeat. You'll learn about Listen rising and, repeat. and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences. But in one, the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Okay, repeat. Is she getting up? Is she, Is she getting, getting up? Are they sleeping? Are, Are they sleeping? sleeping? So, ahí vemos que es como cantadito al final. What's she doing? What's she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Allí la intonación baja al final. What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation. Yes or no questions and WH questions. So, aquí vamos a escribir cinco yes, no questions y cinco WH questions. Cinco yes, no questions y cinco WH questions y lo vamos a escribir en el discussion forum. Ready? Let's go.
Susi, yo la había hecho. Serían cinco. Es Hola. Hola. Se van a responder las preguntas, no saben. Va a ser cinco ascendentes y cinco descendentes. Pero verdad que solo las preguntas, no se tienen que responder. Que yo sepa, ¿no? Verdad, vaya. What is the está eh, eh, what are they están Okay. 
All right, time's up, time's up, time's up, time's up. Ding, 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 ding. Are you finished? I said, are you finished? Yes. Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Are you finished? Okay. All right, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, Good night. guys. Good night. Bye bye. -bye. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.